Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAdisher.com. Out here today, take a first look at some new goodness I got in from Shooting Surplus. I was having a conversation with my buddy Bruce over at Shooting Surplus, and he, being in the industry, enjoys shooting, is a practitioner, and it came up, hey, have you ever shot anything from Arsenal Democracy? I said, no, I have not. And conversation progressed. With that, he was saying how he actually owns a couple, some of his favorite guns, and yeah, spoke high praises of them. So, that turned into this. I decided to uh, get rid of this. Send out something from Arsenal Democracy. So I believe this is, yes it is. It is their AD-15 pistol, SBA 3 brace, man, this thing's pretty sweet. Uh, Surefire War Comp, closed time, I've actually never used those before. Ambidextrous controls to include ambi mag release, enlarged bolt catch bolt release, looks like pretty sweet trigger. Nice clean single stage trigger. M-Lock handguard, got some iron sights, which is good because I do not have an optic with me today. So yeah, gonna get this thing going. But obviously need to feed this, so we have these guys too. I ended up getting my hands on these guys also. Number four through six, one through three is somewhere else. But these are the Surefeed magazines. If you're unfamiliar, they're made by OK Industries, kind of the gold standard when it comes to USGI mags. These ones happen to have texture, pretty cool. They also have the Magpul base plates I threw on there. And interesting, the kind of feed lip geometry on here. I'm yeah, curious to see how it'll do. It looks like probably be pretty good with some of your 300 Blackout too, which not all magazines are. But right here, I also have some Frontier ammo, all the bullets, and I'm gonna go ahead and jam these magazines up. So behind me, which you can't see right this second, I have a Rune Nation Cold Start, and it requires two magazines of eight rounds, followed by one full magazine. So jam these up, see what we get. Right here, I'm about five meters from the Rune Nation Cold Start. Have two magazines of eight rounds, unless I miscounted, but I took the Math for Marines MCI, should be good to go. One round into a low probability, three into the large circle, one into low probability, three in the large circle, conduct a reload, same again. Then a full magazine if you need to make up any shots. Think the part time is like 12 seconds. No, I haven't zeroed this, came out of the box but I'm close enough, I should be able to see my impacts and make whatever adjustments I need. So, let's do it live. We got, well, I don't know. We might have failed it. Mm. I think we might have failed it, but let's go look at the target. Well, I missed it by this much. And by this much, I mean, if the part time was 12 seconds, mm, by almost 10 seconds. First round went right there. I was like, oh, I should probably hold a little higher. Shot my rounds in there, got that one in there. Came down here, ended up going too high. Rounds in there, got that one, conducted my reload, dropped that one there and that one there, or 
vice versa, I don't remember. But since I have time and opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing zeroed and do some more shooting. Now that I've established a good 50 yard zero, zero excuses. Gonna work some just manipulation and stuff. Right here, 25 yards, I have a reduced B, C zone, ADAP target by TA targets, AR550. So let's do some reloads. One, three, five, four, five, four. One, two, one, four, two, three. Do you even pocket reload? One, two, nine, four, three, two. six it's magic one thing that is nice about this too i haven't done anything to it but it's not over gassed consistent ejection pattern right about 3 30 ish four o'clock and I have one of these guys. And so since this has a closed tine Surefire War Comp and I have this RC2 556, go ahead and give it a go. While this does have an adjustable gas block, I haven't touched it in part because I don't have any tools for it out here today, but let's see how it does. Boom, consistent, right about two-ish o'clock. Pretty sweet as far as having that unsuppressed. And if I'm gonna dedicate this to suppressed, I can obviously tune it down, get it shooting softer and ejecting further back. And just for fun, see how the left eye with these irons does. Two, eight, nine, one, no miss shots, not too shabby. Thoughts, I think this thing's pretty rad. Definitely looking forward to putting in more time with this AD-15 pistol, Arsenal Democracy, as well as these Surefeed magazines. Special thank you to Shooting Surplus, getting this stuff sent out. They sell all kinds of things over there to include this AD-15 pistol, 
I think about 1700 bucks, which as far as what you get at that price point, I think there's probably a lot of value there. But as I get more time, bring you guys full reviews. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.